Guardians, it's the one and only, big bad bald bearded bugger himself, Brogues here back with your daily dose of Destiny dependent dialogue. In today's episode we are looking at the legendary simulator armour set, here for the Warlock with its full complement of ornaments. Now this armour set is the Future War Cult exclusive armour set and you can get it by levelling up with Lakshmi. Now, I will explain how to get all the ornaments for this armour, and I will also explain all the minor differences between this and the standard armour. Now, first of all, we have the helmet, and as you can see, there are no materialistic or style changes to it. The only difference is there is a new paint scheme applied to the helmet, which, if you ask me, makes it look far nicer and far cleaner. Now in order to get this ornament, it's simple enough. Firstly, you have to pledge your allegiance to Future War Cult. You then have to equip every piece of armour, that's all five pieces, and then complete a Nightfall Strike, and you'll be rewarded with this ornament. Next up, we have the Gauntlets, and as you can see again, there's no materialistic or styling change. All that's changed is the paint scheme, which again is the much more improved, plain simple, greyish white with the blue dots. Now, in order to get this ornament, you'll have to go complete public events for Future War Cult. The total amount of public events you need to complete is 15, so that's easily achievable on any day playing. Now, up next we have the chest armour, and as you can see, there's no materialistic or styling changes again. It's just this new paint scheme, this new cleaner paint scheme that's been applied to the armour. Now, in order to get this ornament, you're going to have to get power weapon kills while pledged to a Future War Cult. The easiest way to do this is just to run strikes basically and have a sword equipped because it will get you the most kills for the least amount of ammo. Now up next we have the boots and you've guessed it, no materialistic, no styling change, just the new colour scheme applied to it. Now in order to get this ornament all you have to do is get grenade kills while playing strikes. This is the hardest challenge I actually found to get this ornament because, especially as playing as a warlock, it's extremely hard to get multiple grenade kills. The easiest way I found to doing it is equipping Dawnblade and making sure you've propped the uh, skill where airborne kills recharge your grenade energy. And finally we have the bond and as you can see, no materialistic, no styling changes, just this new paint scheme applied. In order to get this ornament, all you have to do is claim 5 reward packages with Future War Cult during Season 2. Now, although these ornaments actually massively improve the look of the Future War Cult armour, in my opinion it's just more extremely lazy work from Bungie because there's no changes whatsoever. All they've done is apply a new skin to the armour. With that said, let's check it out under some different shaders. <laughs> 